It's available on my channel. You can go watch it. My father does wood wood carvings. He makes. I'll I'll put some sculptures on the screen, so you some imi- some images on the screen, so you can see uh, some of his work. Um, by the way, you can check out please check out his page at on Facebook at Sculptures Krista Florin. Currently, he has over. 1500 people liking it um so yes so as you can see from the images he does from modern abstract to religious work so if any of you would be interested in getting something like that it, please contact his facebook page i will most likely answer <laughs> because it's not the best with technology um but i'll pass the message on and i'll let you know if you're interested in a certain piece of work or you just want something custom made for to, to make to give as a gift to someone or i don't know if even for your personal collection of art something like that and uh, now i'd like to share with you a piece oh, i showed you a little bit <laughs> a piece of sculpture he made several years ago and I took it with me when I came to the UK to study at university so this was made in 2007 I'll show you the actual carving but yeah it says it was made in 2007 so two years before I left for the university um I'll turn it and I'll show you <laughs> check it out what do you it, I think it's, this is some of his more simple stuff that he makes but yeah as you can see from his sculpture from his facebook page he has massive wood carvings like meters high and long these are a bit more easy in a way and they make great gifts because they're all small they can carry them with you on the plane whatever and take it take them with you um if you want to <laughs> give it to someone when you're going on holiday or anything like that um so yeah i had this piece of sculpture of horses i'll show you it feels so nice um i had it yeah i had it with me since 2009 when i came here in canterbury to study at university and it's just something i hold dear um i don't tend to accumulate many things but some th- from the things that i like obviously as you know from my channel if you've been following my journey i love books you know reading stories uh, has always been a joy of mine as well as writing and uh, this is one of the objects I also have uh with me whatever I move because it's just it's something dear to my heart. So yeah, if you'd like something like this, <laughs> please get in touch. I mean, preferably on here uh, the Facebook page, Sculpture Krista Florin. But yeah, you can contact me as well if you like. Um also at the back this one doesn't have like a hole in it. Normally he can make you know it's small hole so you can uh, put it so yeah you can put it on on the wall you know as a yeah <laughs> very nice in the window light oh uh, yeah what i i didn't i forgot to mention 
be, I think if it's not obvious, because <laughs> you never know. <coughs> uh, my father makes, all his sculptures are handmade, which means, I mean, obviously he doesn't make them with his hands. I mean, he makes them with his hands, but he uses certain tools. But it's all handmade, not, it's not made by a machine. So he uses chisels. He had some of the chisels he had um, in his um, collection of tools since I was I was very very young, and some he he buys because obviously after a certain stage of damage and break, and he needs like sharp tools. Obviously this is like you know whatever kind of wood he works in can be very hard, and you know the, he needs certain tools, and after several uses, they get damaged, as mentioned. Um, <coughs> um, I used to, <laughs> a funny fact, fun fact, I used to live with uh, sculptures in my bedroom when I was little, but uh, I used to have his, like this is nothing, I mean, Compared to the sculptures I used to have in, in my bedroom when I was young, like they were massive. I, I remember one colleague of mine from school, she told me like, aren't you scared to go to sleep with them? Because, you know, because of the shadows they create and stuff. And I was like, I don't know, <laughs> it's just natural. I grew up with them, it doesn't seem like something unusual. I mean, I understand why as a child maybe you might be scared having those sort of shadows on the walls, at, especially at night time, at night time if you wake up from a nightmare, you know, a dream or whatever. But yeah, I was quite comfortable. It was just, they were just sculptures, work of, works of my father. <laughs> so yeah, it, that, was a, that was a bit strange <laughs> to mention, but yeah, I think it's something funny. Um, yeah, when you grow up in the house of an artist, I think, Things like that tend to happen. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you so much for listening. This has been longer than I anticipated. But yes, I would very much appreciate if you would like his, would, if you like his work. Obviously, if you don't like it, although you could, uh, the feedback is very positive, people love it. Um, if you love his work, you know. Um, Please, please share the page, share images of his work. Um, it's, as mentioned, quite difficult to make a living, especially in my home country. And the more people that see his work, um, the better it will be for, for him as, a, as an artist. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll hopefully we'll see you next time. <laughs> hopefully it will be something related to my writing or my photography. Um, yeah, um, I don't have any news on the translation about my novel, uh, for my novel, but hopefully it will be ready this summer, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully I'll bring it to you in paperback form. <laughs>